Right, so in version 2.3, we get a golden trash can on our airship that has a repeatable combat interaction, which means that everyone can now repeat fights against trash cans as many times as they want. Why is this important? Well, it's not. So here's a totally useless guide on how to do a reverse damage showcase. I tried my best to help me on your skin. Okay, so Lord of the Trash Cans give themselves a damage buff after every turn. This is multiplicative, which means that it's exponential. So the more turns that the trash can gets, the more damage they'll dish out. At some point, this damage buff is just going to ramp so high that it's just going to one-shot your characters regardless of what gear or buffs you're running. So the only way that we're going to be able to extend the fight long enough to build up enough damage is via revives. So currently in the game, the only sources of revive is going to be Bailu, who has a revive at E0, and then an additional one at E6. Hua Hua also has two revives at E2, Fushuan with one at E2, and then finally Jepard who has a self-revive. So the more of these you have, the higher the potential for reverse damage ceiling. Next up, we'll also be able to increase the damage taken by making sure that the last character to get hit is a level 1 character with no defense. So for this showcase, I use a level 1 Misha with 54 defense. And then on top of that, we're also able to consume an Origami Family Bucket, which has a chance at giving your team a debuff that increases damage taken by another 10%. Rightio, so in this showcase, I unfortunately do not have an E2 Hua Hua, E2 Fushuan, or E6 Bailu, which means that we're already down 4 revives. What we do run, however, is going to be an adventuring just to keep everyone alive early on, plus to control some aggro. We've also got Japard for one self revive, and then we've got Bailu for the other revive. And then finally, our level 1 Misha, who's going to be the sacrifice to the trash gods. So the aim of the game here is to survive long enough to build up enough stacks on the Lordly Trash Can. With this particular setup, we're able to get around 81,000 damage boost. Running both Japard and Adventuring is pretty nice since they both have an innate increase to aggro. We obviously don't want Misha dying first, but we also don't want Bailu to die before she's able to use her revive. So having Adventuring or Japard die first is perfect. Adventuring will then get revived by Bailu and Japard can revive himself. And then with their innate high threat, they'll also likely continue to be targeted once again, leaving you with just Bailu and Misha alive. Now it's just a matter of praying that Bailu tanks that second last hit, leaving your sacrificial lamb to tank that 1 million boot to the face. And so that's how we do a reverse damage showcase. So if you've got an E2 Fushuan, E2 Hua Hua, or even an E6 Bailu, I think we could probably get hit for over 5 million damage with the right RNG. So if you manage to pull that off, make sure you tag me in the comments so I can take a look. See ya. Chart my best. <laughs>